welcome back. And uh, Sean and I are ready to uh, feature a couple more beers if we don't get blown away right off the table. So uh, we're observing our, our um, COVID rules still, and, you, and I still need a haircut. So there you have it. So let's just segue right over to the tasting area. It'll just take me a minute. Again. We're back. We're back. The beer from here. Happy what to be it? back. Overdue. Over, way overdue. Well, yeah. I haven't had a beer since the last time. Well, you know. That could be a lie. I, I might have had a couple, maybe. Back from the brink and into the drink. There so we I go. stole that from a very famous director. Sure. There we go. The beer from here. You get a close up of that whenever you want. Maestro. So, what are we going to drink today, Brian? Well, sir, I think we better look at the uh, our, our bottomless cooler here and see uh, what's that over there I'm closest to you and farthest from me. That's that. Got, it's got all the earmarks of something brand new. That is a uh, long tooth pale ale. Um, and these guys just set, set up shop in Sterling. Sterling, Ontario? Sterling, Ontario. Excellent. Yeah. Pour that baby. Um, that's a kind of a lively pour. That'll be yours. I will be mine. <laughs> Sterling, you say? So, uh, yeah, I, I, this guy's been around for a while. He's, he's contract brewed, I think, for a while. Yeah. And uh, finally set up shop and actually opened right in the middle of the pandemic. He's like, just opened his doors within the last few weeks. Thinking, ah, good on him. Good you on know? him, is right. Hey. I um, hope he hasn't uh, run afoul of any of the rules. I, I don't believe he has because hey they who knows what the they door. are I don't know what the um, rules are let's for, see what we got the rules cheers cheers mm. that's a nice drinkable pale ale nice pale ale that's pretty smooth not super edgy it's, still, it's, it's got a nice uh it's got a nice bitterness but uh, but not not crazy on the hops i don't know nope. uh, no info as far as the ibus 5.25 percent alcohol so it's not not a bad drinking beer Excellent. Um, that's all right sterling's come a long way sterling's come a long way they've always been a very progressive little town well brian that's not really the case uh, you know what <laughs> i'm not going to contradict you there because i have it on good authority that you live in sterling well and and when I was growing up, when I when I was of age of drinking, Sterling was a dry town. Other than the LCBO, they did have dry towns, didn't they? Yeah, back then, yeah. there was there was no licensed establishments in the village, and and uh, actually, my lovely wife was one of the very first bartenders in Sterling when we were dating, and that's when I was in my early twenties. I did so not that's know like that. thirty years ago. Sterling was a dry town, and now they got a brewery. My, heck? how things have changed in 30 Jeez, years. Hey? That's great. Well, here's Progress. To, here's, to, <laughs> here's, to long, here's to long tooth and being long in the tooth. Excellent. Yeah. Um, now, do you know this chap? Have you met I, this I haven't met him. Actually, um, I think uh, my lovely wife stopped in and, and, and picked that up the other day. But uh, I'd seen some comments and actually had seen that they were opening up. So kind of a you know he's, he's basically selling some beer but obviously once the pandemic's over he'll be into it full steam yeah a little patio and the whole shebang so That's yeah great so there it is long tooth pale ale and we're enjoying it yeah thanks for coming back we're into part two part two beer two What's one word four syllables <laughs> the godfather what else are we drinking today, Brian? Well, let's check that one out. Oh. Cushing the Limit India Pale Lager. Full time. Plan. So, this is from All or Nothing Brew House. Ah, they're from Oshawa, aren't they? They are from Oshawa. They've been kicking around for a while. And uh, let's try their India Pale Lager. 
Man, what am I doing here, Brian? You're doing fine. It's just it's the ice. <laughs> what's your feeling on the India Pale Lager? What, what's that all well, about? I I think what it's what it, what they're trying to do is 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 give those IPA drinkers that that lagery option drinking lager option. Look at that. I'm out of practice, Brian. That's yeah, from that. That's, uh, that's the, in that break, that's the, guy. That's, that's the thing with the hiatus. So you wind up with a hiatus hernia. Thirty-eight IBUs and four point nine percent alcohol. Thirty-eight. Does it, uh, that's so like that's it, wouldn't not. Even, it wouldn't even qualify for an IPA. That's not it? crazy. So no. I mean, let's let's see what we got going on here. I think I'm gonna Sorry. get a, I'm gonna get a milk mustache here. But <laughs> Sorry let's about go that. For it. Isn't it great to be outside though? Great to be outdoors. It's awesome to be outdoors. It's one of my favorite spots to drink beer. Yes, that's good. It's, it's gonna, hopefully it'll stay that way. Now, I don't know if Sean can get the concrete in, but we won't go there, I guess. It's got a nice fruity note to it. Mm-hmm. The foam is really fruity. I haven't got to the good stuff yet, <laughs> it but I will. It doesn't have that that sharp edge No. of, of the uh, you know, uh, like a West Coast IPA. Yeah. Um, so it, you kind of get the understanding of that. You're, you're getting that, you know, that tropical fruit, citrusy. It's really got a really nice. Uh, but it's a mellow but, end. What is the fruit thing? Because almost that sounds like a mango or something. I mean, it's it's, it's very it's a mangoish. Deep, tropical flavor. Yeah, it? quite nice. And I suppose you know, I mean, that 4.9, you could almost qualify as a session. Yeah, it's a pretty IPL. easy drinking beer. Definitely, um, definitely. But yeah, you can you can see where it's gonna give an IPA drinker some of what they want. Yep. And give that a, easy drinkingness of give a them, lager. Give them a nice, give them a nice option. So get hey. off the ales and into the lagers, into the brink. Well, this has been I delicious. I think that works. Mm. Quite nice. I think they're gonna pull my porn license though. Well, your pouring license. Yeah, it's my Whoa. pouring hey, What did you think I said, <laughs> Brian? I'm scared of for your pouring license. Where do you get one of those? Anyway, let's uh, let's say thanks to everybody who tied in today. And uh, welcome. And thanks for coming in. We had a great time. We're outside. we got a little bit of work to do. But uh, after that, we might be yeah. back before you know it. You know, hopefully we're doing this on a regular basis. So, you know, like it. Subscribe. I don't know. We'll probably be back in the words of bob newhart in the midst of the pandemic i'm not even supposed to be doing this